Hello, Pet Parents. Robert Semro down here at the Blog Paws 2015 conference in Nashville, Tennessee. Really enjoying what I'm seeing down here. So many exciting new developments. And I gotta tell you, maybe one of the most important things that Blog Paws is doing this year is with the help of our guest here, Caitlin Bolton from the Pet Industry Sustainability Coalition. It's a mouthful, but it it's is. an important mouthful. Let's talk about what you're doing here at Blog Paws. Sure, so you know the theme of this year's conference is really a better world for pets. Um, and when we think about that, you know, we all care about the health and happiness of pets. And sometimes we think of that as, hey, what are we feeding them? What kind of toys are we buying them? But really, it's also important to think about how clean is the air that they're breathing? How clean are our waters that they're enjoying? Um, and how clean are those habitats? All animals need that too. So this year um, at Blog Paws, we're really working on a zero waste event. So we're really helping to reduce the amount of pollution being created, created by this event um, through a zero waste initiative. And that's in partnership with Only Natural Pet the Blog Pause team and myself, the Pet Industry Sustainability Coalition. We've been working for about six months um, to nine months on really identifying uh, how to make this the lowest impact event possible. Well, we can certainly see the difference. We see the efforts. As you're planning this and you're looking at ways to do this, what are some of the, the easiest ways for folks to get involved back when they get home? Sure, so you know, looking at your environmental footprint, there are all sorts of ways to get involved. Um, at this event, it was really easy. It's those three R's, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. So when we were looking at this event, it's reduce the amount of stuff that we're creating. So that was, you know, minimizing uh, the programs that we have and creating electronic programs. And that's the same at home. So how can you reduce the amount of waste that you're bringing into your home, throw away items, um, choosing items that are more durable. Uh, looking at reusing. So what opportunities are there? Or to buy products even that are made out of uh, reused materials. There's a lot of bedding um, and different products that are made out of recycled materials at this point. So really helping uh, to vote with your dollars to promote those companies um, who really are demonstrating environmental stewardship. Well, I like that. We talk about it a lot. Be the change that you want to see. Mm -hmm. Have that impact. You're doing it on a daily basis. Give me a tip or two that I can be doing at home to change that environment at home as well. Sure, so I mean, if you look at your relationship with your pet, there's all uh, types of ways to look at uh, that footprint and how to minimize it. So, you know, something really easy is just picking up after your pet when you take them for a walk. Um, you know, a lot of people take it for granted, but if you look at our waterways, it's a sad state. You know, 90% of our waterways are polluted with fecal coliform bacteria, and that's created in pet waste. So if we do a better job of picking up after our pet and making sure that gets um, to the right disposal bin, then that's, you know, one very simple thing that we can all do uh, to make a big impact. Sure, and to take that step further, using bags that biodegrade as well. So many different things that, that we can be doing. I know you've got a lot of great advice out there on your website. I wanna make sure the folks know where they can stay up to date and get up to date information, because I know we all wanna be doing better, not only for our pets, but for ourselves and for the world in general. Where can they get that info? Sure, and you know, I think it's really important when you look at the blogging community that, you know, they're a voice um, to so many pets and to the industry at large. And so I think there's a huge opportunity uh, for this community to get more involved in the sustainability of the industry as a whole. You can check out what we're doing online at any time at petsustainability.org. Um, you can also check us out at Pet Sustainability on Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and Facebook as well. Well, a lot of great things, folks. I gotta tell you, it's really exciting and energizing and you feel a part of the movement when you see all the work that they're doing, it encourages you to get involved and do it. Reach out to them, find out what you can be doing, and let's make a difference. Thank you for everything that you're doing. It really is making this conference unique and special. It's the first one in the industry, so it's pretty exciting to be uh, on the ground floor of the pilot for a zero waste pet event. It really is, it really is, and it's gonna make a big difference, so thank you for your efforts, because I know I see you and your team working so hard to make us all on track. It's not pretty work, but someone's gotta do it. We appreciate it.